Dave Hensman, BushTroopers.com here. Um, I am basically at Sticks and Stones. It's a um, primitive skills company. They teach you how to do primitive skills and stuff. I'm going to be here for the week, so this will be kind of a long video. I'm going to show you lots of different stuff. i got my little area behind me set up. There are some people pitch their tents over there. Further along is the, the barn where we're going to do a bunch of stuff. I'll do a walk through that show you everything that I can. There's um, this is the flat spot. It's kind of on the ridge, a little bit windy, but I have my four season tent, so uh, the wind really is not going to be a big issue for me. And uh, there's actually snow on the ground here still. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna add my tent pegs to the front sides, stretch out the tent a little more, get it in this more position, pull on it, pull the strings out and everything else, you know, tighten it up. I'm gonna be here for a week, so might as well get it all nice and comfy right now. Well, I'm meeting a few more of the people that are on the course. Got a tent set up, I opened up, nice breeze going in there. So blowing up my air mattress, my beautiful Big Agnes, <laughs> 25 inches wide, six feet something inches tall, two and a half inches thick once it's blown up. I love this mattress. I like my creature comforts. So I'll have it all set up, walk you through the little camp as soon as I'm done. Now I'm lightheaded because I just finished blowing up the Big Agnes. Like I say, I'm all about the creature comforts. Oh yeah. All right, here mattress is in there. Sleeping bag I just chucked in there. Got my clothes in here, all my basic stuff. Put my pack in there. Some people leave their pack outside. I don't have any food in here, so I'll drag it inside with me. I'm going to leave my pack on the outside because I don't really have a lot in here that I'm going to use. Like now that I'm set up, I have my folding saw, my machete, blackjack, anything from cold steel. I have my axe, so but those I'm not going to be using for this uh, excursion. So I'll just pack things up tight, keep it neat. My tool bag, which I use for everything. About tweaking. Okay, so here I am inside the tent, just getting myself prepared. Tuck that away a little bit. All right, some other little tricks. Bring a pillowcase from home. You can double as a bag to carry stuff if you like. What I also like about it 
it's a pillowcase. You know, it's comfy. You jam it full of clothes. This is a really long one. Probably for one of those duvet things, but whatever. You know, it does the job. If I can put my towel in there before I actually use the towel. I usually roll up my jacket and tuck it in here as well. And that gives it a little more. I like the extra material here so I can just roll it up. Plus I put my clothes in there. What I do is I take this thing here. And I loosen all this off. So now, so that I'm not laying on these little plastic parts, but yet I like a firm type pillow. What you can do, another little trick. Take my towel. I roll my towel around the bag. And you take the pillowcase. Now, if you have a wider pillowcase, you slide it so the sides are here and you roll it around. This one's longer and narrower. So I will tuck it in longer and narrower. Tuck it in lengthwise. Shove it right down to the bottom. Again, like I say, this is for a really long pillow. I just grabbed it quick. But I kind of like this because it allows me a lot of extra material. If I need material, char cloth or something, cut it off the top. So it makes this a little more useful. And then I'm just taking the towel and I'm wrapping it around the, uh, the bag that holds all my stuff. You can kind of see where it pops out here. Again, I just roll up all the parts once it's all pretty much wrapped around this thing. Put it down. Double check. Now to prevent it from moving. So if I put my jacket in here, it's a little more padding. Wider towel. I just stuck a little knot in there. And everything doesn't start rolling and separating itself. So put it down. Oh yeah. I'm going to get me some good sleep tonight. That and the fact that I'm exhausted. Okay, it's 3.30 in the morning and I'm freezing. Thank God I brought the, uh, the other uh, stuff. Note to self, get a good sleeping bag because, man, the one I have is not set up for this weather. i got to get a better one. I gotta have fleece liners and ranger blankets. I'm pulling everything out, I'm putting it all on, including my wool blanket. I'm putting it on top of myself because I'm freezing my ass off right now. But, uh, whew, okay. Mm -hmm.